John Griswold here with Griswold Group. Excited to give you an update on what's going on with housing in San Diego. So we are now very much in the autumn market. Autumn market starts basically when the kids go back to school and then ends about a week before Thanksgiving, which then becomes the holiday market. So right now in this autumn market, um, typically it's not quite as strong as spring or as summer. Um, but there's still a lot of activity that happens between now and, and you know, the beginning of the holiday market. And what we're seeing right now is, is a bit unique because in general, what we start to see is supply and demand both sort of dropping. Uh, and because they're both dropping, expected market time, the amount of time it takes to, from when you put the for sale sign in the front yard to when it's marked um, in escrow, uh, typically remains sort of unchanged as supply and demand growth drop. But what we're seeing is that demand has been flat, basically fluctuating around the same numbers for about a year and a half now. Um, and supply has been still increasing, not huge, but steadily, slowly increasing uh, week after week. Um, and so what that has caused is a overall softening um, of the housing market and um, a pretty good time to be a buyer right now because not only do you have more options available to you and you're seeing more price reductions in in the markets where you're looking for homes you are also seeing much better interest rates out in the market right now interest rates have steadily fallen over the last six weeks um, down to um, around 6%. It seems to be fluctuating between 6 and 6.25, uh, depending on, on, your, on your rate. I mean, for some of you, you're definitely seeing rates in the, in the high 5% right now. So um, for whatever reason, the, the vast majority, of, there's a lot of buyers who are not yet taking advantage of that. I think some of that is poor timing. The Fed waited so long to start really changing their monetary policy that we're into the autumn market and a lot of buyers have, have cooled down their, their search and are already starting to think about next year. Um, but as rates drop, they start looking, you know, peeking back into their, into, their, into their searches and seeing what they can afford and seeing if they want to maybe pivot and maybe try to secure something this year um, before we head into 2025. So, Believe it or not, we, we, there is daylight if you're a seller. We are starting to see the data shifting. I was just looking at some stuff from Friday that shows that demand is starting to increase. Week over week, demand is actually up 4% and supply was up 1%. Um, and so supply still hasn't peaked, which is very strange. Um, but that's kind of where, where, where we're seeing. But I definitely am starting to see that buyers are starting to wake up, re-enter the market. And so uh, for those of you who bought in the last six weeks, it looks like you've timed this very, very well. Um, and I don't think the, the door is closed on that at whatsoever. Um, but uh, you know, there was three big areas of confusion. There was who's gonna be president, what are the interest rates gonna be, and what's this new commission stuff? Two of those three have been answered. So buyers understand the commission stuff for the most part. They, they understand kind of where their interest rates are gonna be. Um, and we don't have a ton of control over who's president, but that is still in play as people are wanting to know what that means for 2025, specifically tax reasons, which seem to be, there seems to be concern over, over what the taxes are gonna look like um, moving forward. So those, those those having clarity on two of the three seems to really be helping buyers jump back into the market. Uh, as you'll see in the email for sellers, if you're trying to sell your home between now and the end of the year, being really uh, intentional about pricing is important. If you go too high, uh, you end up wasting a lot of time and potentially damaging your future market uh, value. And so uh, you wanna think about you know, when do you want the home to close? What goals you're trying to achieve? How to price it in a way to stay within your timelines and move everything forward. Um, and so the things you can control are price and condition. So sometimes you do want to improve the condition of the home before you put it on the market. That's where I come in to help 
kind of explain the different options available to you and whether or not you want to put your home on the market now, whether you want to wait until January 15th, for example. These are all the things that you want to think about uh, when you're exploring uh, putting your home on the market. So I hope this has all been helpful. I'm available if you have any questions and I'll talk to you on the next one.